Indonesian divers have found two black boxes from a passenger plane that crashed into the Java Sea, killing all 62 people on board. Investigators have begun the slow task of recovering bodies and identifying the dead. Indonesia correspondent Ann Barker reports. Navy ships and police boats continue to search the Java Sea a full day after Sriwijaya Air Flight 182 plunged into the ocean. Search teams have brought tons of debris back to shore, including luggage, clothing, pieces of wreckage and body parts. Navy divers found the fuselage on the sea floor and authorities say they've located the black boxes but are yet to retrieve them. It's still unclear what caused the crash. The Boeing 737-500 disappeared just minutes after taking off in heavy weather from Jakarta for Pontianak in West Kalimantan. Along with the 12 crew, there were 50 passengers on board, including seven children and three babies. Victims' families have been asked to give DNA samples to help identify bodies from the wreckage. We are coordinating with Swarajaya Air to provide us with all the passenger details, including seat numbers and also CCTV footage of the passengers when they were boarding. One man whose wife was on board says she'd originally booked with a different airline altogether, but at the last minute it was changed to Srivijaya Air. We paid 1.4 million rupiah for the ticket, but she arrived at Jakarta Airport at 4am and at check-in she was told the flight was changed to Swarajaya Air. She was supposed to take Nam Air. This is the first major air crash in Indonesia since a Lion Air Boeing 737 MAX plunged into the same sea minutes after takeoff two years ago, killing 189 people. Indonesia has one of the worst crash records in the world. Even before this latest disaster, more people had died in crashes in Indonesia than in any other country in the past decade. With a long and grim task ahead to recover bodies and wreckage, it could be days, if not weeks, before investigators know what caused the jet's catastrophic descent. Anne Barker, ABC News.